Hey Creepers, welcome back to another video of House of Gus Paranormal Investigations. Tonight we are exploring a cemetery that we found out in Ireton. We don't know a lot about it, um, it's quite an old cemetery and we have done a little exploration just before we started this intro to see what was here and what we have found is there's lots of families um, and family plots. So we want to investigate and see if we can find out about their stories, if any of them want to talk to us. Uh, we've also noticed behind us there is a uh, chair here, a memorial seat, which has had a little bit of activity which we use the EMF uh, app to see if there was any activity. Um, so we're going to investigate that as well and just have a little exploration. It's quite a little uh, cemetery. We're going to get to it. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Right, so this is the memorial seat that I was just talking about in the intro and when we came and looked around just before um, I used the EMF reader and it has been going off a little bit as we've been walking around but we've mainly noticed that see as you can see it's spiking quite a bit um, especially when we sort of move over to this direction it is just a memorial seat maybe there could possibly be um, an unmarked gravesite here. I don't know. There's a few spaces and dips all along this way here where there possibly could be. Um, over the years, maybe the headstones have uh, disintegrated or been damaged and have never been replaced. Uh, so we're going to make our way from the right hand side of the cemetery to the back. So it's kind of front to back. They are all facing us. I don't know if you can see. Um, I'll zoom in a little. they're facing towards us but down the very very back uh, there is two from one from the right hand side and to the left hand side um, that are facing the opposite direction so the way we're looking towards the grave site run the EMF reader back over here again. I am going to walk around um, with this a little bit tonight and see what we can uh, capture on here. And again as you can see from this side it is spiking. Now I do have my devices on airplane mode. Um, they do spike a little when they come close together but this far away from my phone it is not active. Uh, just so that you guys know that we're not tampering this is actually working, yes it is an app, it's not my preferred choice of device but it does work, we have had a lot of success with this. I am going to do an EVP session here but we are going to have a little walk around first and um, there's a little church just behind this memorial seat, unfortunately we can't get into it just through these trees in the next paddock. As you can see there it is. This is like a little country town just on the outside or outskirts of Kaipui. I think this would have been the church that they used to um, perform the ceremonies and then come across to the cemetery to their final resting place. So along here we have noticed there's a huge family plot. There's I think two or three different families. The EMF meter hasn't been spiking much while we've been over here. This is one of the huge family plots. The last name is Dixon. They're all brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers. And down here there's twins, a set of twins, a brother and a sister. If anyone's here with us tonight, you're more than welcome to touch this device 
use this device to make yourself known. Make it go to read if you're here. And this gravesite here is Olivia Spencer Bauer and Anthony Marmaduke Orm Spencer Bauer, and these two are twins. Um, this is the mother and father here, Anthony Spencer Bauer and Agnes Rosa Arian, I think. I do apologise if you do hear some weird noises in the background. There is some bulls and they have been calling out. And there are also sheep around here as well, so if you see some glary eyes, it's possibly them. We don't know really who this one is. Have we figured out who this one is, guys? This is part of the Spencer Bauer family too. So there's about, how many did we think was here? About seven, eight. Seven, yeah. Seven, yeah. of the Spencer Bauer family. Sorry guys, it's a little glary tonight. And we are just off a main road, so you might hear a little bit of tra traffic in the background. I do apologise. If you see or hear anything, please leave a comment in the comment section. So yeah, we find it a little odd that they're all facing um, one way. And in a lot of them there's some um, unmarked, there's a, oh, sorry, there's a few unmarked graves here as well. Unfortunately some of these we can't walk up close to because we don't want to disrespect them and walk on top of their graves. But how we came across this place is um, my sister and her family go motorbiking out this way and uh, as they were driving here one day my sister had seen it and she had mentioned it to me. We tried to come out here a couple of weeks ago and unfortunately it was too dark and we forgot where it was. And then about a week or so ago we came out of here again but it was just me and my sister and Carl wasn't with us and it was extremely dark. And we saw, or we thought we saw some eyes glaring at us. So we took off and tonight we're back to finally explore it. Um, over here there's only a couple of uh, sites. When we first came here we actually walked from this way back around here and I did feel like I heard or felt something here and my sister also felt like someone brushed past her. She could hear like a rustle of someone's jacket even though I was standing still and Carl was on the other side of the cemetery. And she also felt like over here there is a lot of unmarked graves. She could feel um, unfortunately she didn't realise that it was, she could feel the dips in the ground, and the ground has sunk in over time. Um, over here is only sort of one little memorial cross. Yeah, for myself, while I'm filming, I have to be very careful of where I'm walking. So earlier I felt like Ayrton because it's so small. Um, these people were obviously people that knew each other very well because it looks like a very small community. Um, a lot of them are husbands and wives and brothers and sisters and sons and daughters. Probably uncles and aunties as well. Not very many children. There is a couple 
Um, they're not very, very young though, they're not babies. And here I do definitely feel there is a couple of unmarked graves. Um, there is a shape, I don't know if you can quite see it in the ground, but it is a bit of an oval shape where it's sunken in. And it feels like that has been recently, well not so recently, but a wee while ago has been dug up or has sunken from landslip. One's facing us, we've just noticed, so that's three. We didn't notice this. This is quite a spectacular looking headstone. There's not very many fancy ones here. There's a couple of rocks and memorial or homemade stones. sort of seems like a another um, family plot and I don't know if you just heard there but this is the Dixon family it's here. so this is their whole plot that we looked up. looked up so we did try looking this up um, by a google search and like I said there was not much information about it but it did say that there was one World War II um, service serviceman uh, that was buried here so this is his um, plot it's quite um, nice it's quite different to compare to the rest of them Um, like I said, it's quite a small little cemetery. I don't feel any bad energy here. I do feel like something is here with us. Um, I'm going to take us just for a little walk more back down the um, end piece and then we'll make our way back to uh, the memorial seat and we'll do an EVP session there. Um, so we haven't done a lot of graveyards, uh, so I'm starting to check some out. There's going to be a few more little surprises coming along in the next few weeks. Um, I want to try and do a few more cemeteries and see what we can find. There's a couple down here. This is another family plot. I do feel like there are some unmarked graves here too. So there's just a few more down here. Again, more family plots. So there's a 15 year old that's being buried here. Is it a boy or a girl? Boy. Frederick James is his name. I just find it really odd that that's the back of their headstones. I also feel like that's an unmarked grave there as well. Oh, there's a red light flashing over here. There's an unmarked grave here, which could possibly be a child. something red flashing over there too, it's like yeah. a solar light or something too. Kind of yeah. Wait, what's that? Yeah, and this 
is another unmarked pot as well. <laughs> Sorry guys, there's the bull going for it. Still not much activity on here. But like I said, the most activity we've had off it is down the back end there where the memorial seat is. Is there someone maybe sitting there looking over this place? It could be a caretaker. I don't know, we could find out. Hopefully we can ask some questions and they'll answer. So again we come back down to the front end towards the entrance of the uh, cemetery. And up here we've just found earlier, you can, as you can see, it's kind of weird how this is the only one that's really kind of unkept. There's a family of seven that are buried here. Um, and one of them, didn't you say, was a seven year old boy? Uh, uh, hold on. Six and eight years, Six and eight years old. On the same day. And they both, yeah, died on the same day. So maybe it was a swimming accident? Did you hear that noise yeah. over there? Yeah, and I don't know if you heard Gabe say, but this is the one that she doesn't like the most. And this is going off a little over here. Um, is flashing green a little. Hasn't spiked to red or anything. But maybe we should do an EVP session here as well if we get time. Um, but yeah, we'll quickly go down the back here. I want to show you where the two unmarked... Um, uh, sorry, the two headstones that are facing the opposite direction. Uh, we did find one um, back further towards where we started. each other and they've both got daisies growing on top which is kind of cute what was that noise over in that direction I don't know if you guys heard that yeah wow okay guys so we're gonna just go around the back way over here rock here is where this rock here is is also a much um, headstone gravesite plot and this guy's name is Robert John Hawkins he died in 2012 and he was born in 1930 and he was a loved husband of Beverly but what I find strange is why is there this one and one down the very end over here which we'll go to in a moment facing the complete opposite direction to these ones that are straight over here which these ones are facing the same way as the rest of the cemetery as you can see is there a connection and um, yeah and this guy died the same year and this that lady down there. yeah so if you've heard that this guy robert died the same year as the lady we were just about to take you down the very end here. We also feel like there possibly have been um, grave sites along here that once had headstones but may have been damaged or removed. Um, it's quite an odd shaped 
cemetery. It's very old, I think this one I read may have been in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, so it would have been just a small, possibly farming community. Um, like I said, everyone probably know each other or are connected somehow by family. So we're here at Elaine Mary's uh, gravesite and she was also, she had also passed away um, in 2012 which is the same year as what Robert passed away in and I was just looking at this photo here I won't go in too close as um, just for privacy reasons but she has got a horse so I sort of, sort of feel like this is probably a community that um, the training horses, stud farms possibly because across the road from here is um, a track there's a couple of them and we've also noticed there's a lot of uh, horse stables and training areas so this may have been an old farming or horse community which is kind of cool and down here these two are twins and they also have artificial grass which I find quite fancy we have no idea who the ones are beside but they may be daughters or nieces sisters again yeah cool so this is pretty much the cemetery we are going to make our way back down towards the uh, memorial seat we're going to do an EVP session I've got the EMF uh, reader going here. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of activity, and it is mainly sort of around this area. So I'm going to place this beside the speaker, and we're going to do an EVP session. And as you can see, it's going off. It's probably because of the speaker. I will move this away a little. We are getting a few moths, unfortunately. Um, but I'm going to just turn the necrophonic on. We do apologise if there is traffic behind us, but I will put some words up on the screen uh, when I'm editing so that you just can see what the words are if you can't hear them. Um, so before I press start, I am just going to ask if Anthony or Elizabeth are here. And if you are, um, what is your story? And please don't think we're disrespecting you, we just want to have a wee chat. Anthony, are you here? Yeah. Elizabeth, are you here? Are we in any kind of danger? that light that was shining across the grass before Anthony or Elizabeth if you hear touch the EMF reader use the device Thank you. 
Is there anybody else here with us tonight? Anyone has a message to say or wants to talk to us? Use the EVP app here, Necrophonic. Use your energy. the EMF ready to go off earlier when we were looking round. Okay. Thank you for talking to us. We're not here to disrespect you. Stay here. You're not welcome to follow us home. Go into the light. Okay, guys. So we're here at the gravesite where the, seven, uh, the family of seven have been buried. Um, there are two kids here, as I said earlier, that were aged eight and six. They are John and James. Uh, they must have been brothers. Uh, it says they're both interred. I have no idea what that word is. I'll look it up and I'll insert it in the editing. There will be a little bit of traffic noise behind us, so do apologise. Uh, we, I'm going to uh, see if William is here with us and maybe if the boys are here. I kind of want to ask the question to see what actually happened to them. Um, I, I'm getting a feeling they may have drowned, but possibly not. It could have been an accident, horse riding, who knows. So I'm just going to start the necrophonic again. Um, I have got the speaker a little bit closer to the microphone, so hopefully it will be a little bit clearer for you guys. Um, so before I begin, I'm just going to ask, is William Moore here? And if he is, please come through, use this device that I'm holding. Uh, we just want to know uh, a little bit about your story. If you have any messages, please let us know, and if anyone's watching, they may hear them. What happened to you, William? The little boy that just came through, what is your name? John or James, are you here with us? Is there anything you'd like to tell us? What happened to the two boys that are buried here? Did they drown? Hello? Is that James or John? Uh, 
Are we in any kind right. of danger? Have you been watching us tonight? Who's been watching us tonight? We've been hearing noises. We're not scared. Show yourself. If you have a name, tell us your name. Are we talking to the Moors or are we talking to the Dixons? John and James, what happened to you? How did you die? You can tell us. Run? Why do you want us to run? Are we in danger? I hate that noise again. Leave. Okay, thank you for talking to us. We mean no disrespect. Please stay here. You're not welcome to follow us home. Rest in peace. Go into the light. Okay, Creepers, so we finished up that last EVP session. Um, we heard quite a bit come through from there as well. We heard lots of go and leave. Um, I also heard a couple of creepy voices as well, a couple of kids' voices. We have also heard a lot of other noises behind us while we were waiting and exploring earlier tonight. So I'm going to go back and check the footage and see what we, if there is anything that we've come across. Uh, if you guys, like I said earlier, have heard or seen anything that we haven't, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and a timestamp so I can go back and have a look. Uh, we are going to finish up here and thank you for coming on this adventure with us and we'll see you on the next one.